Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Timbleweed Park and today we continue our journey of following the two lovely agents in their pursuit of the killer. Let's start. It says Main Street. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Willie's watch and violin repair shop. Thimbleweed County's most exclusive watch and violin repair. We repair watches and violins for the rich or famous. Wow, they certainly have a niche market. Closed. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. Howdy! I'm the Thimbleweed Park Sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss the government issue suits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Agent Ray, and this is, um, my partner. Nice to meet you, Agent Arenos. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This cutscene is starting to get long, and it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at 8. I hope he's talking about on TV. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, Areno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slick Arenos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. That makes no sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? Okay, shall we look at stuff? A good place to get a drink. Can you use it? Uh... <laughs> <sighs> Okay, this is the coroner. Howdy who, I'm the Thimbleweed Park Coroner. Welcome to the future who. Oh, these are the latest in crime fighting computers made by Pillowtronics Inc. This is all probably pretty advanced, even for the Fedahoos. Oh, do enlighten us. I love your sarcastic humor, who, Agent Ray. It's not humor. <laughs> there you go again. We're interested in any help your computers can give us. They look marvelous. <sighs> yes, happy to explain. So happy to explain, who. Yeah, you might want to take notes. Already on it. Tell us about the Fingertron 3000. Right, Arino, the Fingertron 3000. Insert a fingerprint registry of known criminals and a fingerprint from the murder weapon on fingerprint tape, and it will do a match -a who. Tell us about the Bloodtron 3000. This is the Bloodtron 3000. Put two bloody objects in, and it will match the blood type, printing out a report to who. Oh, tell us about the Facetron 3000. The Facetron 3000. Or, as I like to call it. Let me guess. The Face Areno? <laughs> no, that's what the sheriff calls it. You who city folk who crack me up. Just insert two pictures of an individual and it will verify a positive match. Aren't you the Sheriff Areno? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 who. Well, people say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as peas a who's in a pot of who. Plus, the sheriff has that annoying areno he adds to everything. You'll never hear me doing that a who. Sure, whatever. Did you use these computers to investigate the pillow factory fire? 
Oh, sure did. Four computers positively showed the fire was caused by the factory guard. No doubt a who about it. Could the computers have been wrong about the fire? Not these computers. Oh, the state of the art of who computers made by Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. Isn't there a conflict of interest with Pillowtronics and the fire? Whoa, now! Pillowtronics and its founder, Chuck, are above reproach. Chuck built this town and was a computer and pillow genius. Are the feds uh, looking into this case? It was solved uh, 20 years ago. No, he's just curious. He's a pillow factory fire buff. He's got a CompuServe chat room and everything. Fascinating stuff. I think we've heard enough. This is all very impressive, sir. This should cut hours of our investigation. <sighs> uh, go see the sheriff in his office for a full explanation of the amazing Arrestron 3000. I have some paperwork to do, a who? Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, these Tron machines are fully voice activated, so if you need any information, just talk to them. It's like we're living in the futuristic year of 2017. I hate this town. Let's investigate these Tron machines, then go see the sheriff and get out of here. I think it's kind of cool that the sheriff and the coroner look and behave almost exactly the same. The coroner and sheriff are idiots. That's okay. I can work with idiots. They are easy to manipulate. The Tron machines are interesting. I'm glad Reyes was a little eager beaver and took notes. I wonder if they are all connected to the reason I'm here. So we're gonna find the murder weapon, fingerprint the murder weapon, get report, find the face, no find the ID, get the face, take a blood swap, find an item with blood and get the blood, re blood report and put the tree Pots. Okay, how about Agent Reyes? I need to stay focused and solve this murder so I can do what I need to do. Reyes has the same thing. The coroner seems nice enough. He should be helpful in solving this case as quickly as possible. The computing power of the Tron machines is impressive. I wonder why we have never heard of them before, and if they could help in figuring out what happened during the old pillow factory fire. Okay, so this is just what we're supposed to do, pretty much the same as Ray. Do you guys think that maybe both of them are not real Asians? Maybe they should call it Vampiretron. Well, okay, let's go. We should go and find the sheriff and... Hello again, Agent Arenos. Hopefully the coroner fills you in on our state-of-the-art Areno computers. Uh... <laughs> You're also the coroner, right? Oh my, no. <laughs> no, 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 Areno. People say there is some resemblance around the eyes, but we're as different as Pizzerinos in a Potterino. Plus, the coroner has that annoying ahoo he adds to everything. <laughs> You'll never hear me doing that, Areno. Do you guys maybe think that if they are not the same person, they are twins? <laughs> That's some very serious computing power you've got there. Yes, sir, Areno. It's all state-of-the-art computer renos from Pillowtronics. Absolutely infallible. You, I mean, the coroner, said something about the Arrestron? Yes, the Arrestron 3000. The last step in a fully computerized Areno arrest. The final link in the chain of a guaranteed conviction of Reno. Every detail of Reno analyzed and verified by computer. Moving on. Right, uh, sorry, Reno, I, I get carried away sometimes. This is the big bad boy Reno you've been hearing about. The Arrestron 3000. 
Uh, just feed three reports from other Tron machines into this, and it issues a 100% Arena valid arrest warrant. Yeah, these machines are the reason we need only one law enforcement officer Arena. Chuck said that computers will soon put us all out of work, allowing for a full life of luxury. Chuck? Sadly, Chuck passed away a few days ago. There was a big service out at the cemetery, Reno. Oh, the entire town showed up, which isn't surprising for the hero of Thimbleweed County. We'll talk more about Chuck later. I need to run a Reno and check on a disturbance call out at the old circus. Probably that stupid clown Reno again. Looks like we need to go talk to the rest of the weirdos that live in this town. We should split up. It will be faster. You cooling your heels in the local diner would also make things go faster. If we follow agency questioning protocols, this shouldn't take long. <sighs> Just don't mess anything up. I want to get out of here as fast as possible. Agreed. Let's see, is there anybody who's wanted? Wanted. Shady Jade and the Sunshine Gang. Okay. Wanted. Huh? A meteor? Wanted. Pickle Bill and the Cucumber Gang. That's cute. Standard city-issued desk, but with no drawers. It's a police radio. Looks like it's on and ready to use. It doesn't have any buttons. Must be for incoming calls only. Well... It's closed. Walk to the radio. Call. It's closed. Okay. Since a it's Agent Rhea's job to check out the machines. Life must be understood backward, but it must be lived forward. So rent your ticket. Oh, that's good. There has to be something. God is not willing to do everything, but thus take away our free will and that share of glory which belongs to us. Nicole Machiavelli. If God did not exist, it would be necessary to invent him. Voltaire. Others go astray in cases where they think they have the most perfect knowledge. Descartes. No man's knowledge here to go beyond his experience. John Locke. Oh, I like that last one. Close program. Okay, let's pass to Asian race and let's explore the place. Also, let's look at the cell first. The inscription says, Pillotronics, the brain of our city. <laughs> oh, so sorry. <laughs> Oh, the Pigeon Brothers. Where are they? Hi. Why can't I go there? Oh, what's what's wrong? It's an odd-looking plumber's wrench. Can I take it? I'd better leave the bag where it is. Oh, so did I take? Did I take the wrench? Or did they take the wrench? Or did I look at the wrench? What? Never mind, is it? I'm already holding it. No time to talk. We have to fix this slight leak. Can I do anything to help? Well, the Hydratron's tube is obviously burned out. We could use a new one. A WC-67? Yeah, we're out of that size. Must have been the signals. Yes, the signals. Let me write down, because one thing I learned is it's best to write it down. Because I have a horrible memory and I want to remember. I'm guessing I won't be able to walk there. I can't get past that water. So, it's just... Forever sorry. Oh. Damn it. It says, after 34 years of serving the Tri-Thimbleweed County area, we had to close our doors. We should have listened to Chuck. 
Transistors are a dead-end path. Tubes are the future. Thank you, our loyal customers. The doors are locked, and nobody's inside. What's this? All boarded up. Not even any wilted flowers left inside. Okay. Ooh! <laughs> s and Diner. Wow. That doesn't seem to work. Okay. Sandy? And? Uh, I don't know. Is there anything here? No? Can we look at it? It's turned off. Hi. Let's talk to Sandy. Welcome to the S and D diner. Hey, just so you know, that article in the Thimbleweed Nickel about botulism was a smear job. So, what can I do for you, honey? What's up with the sheriff? He's kind of weird, Reno. Yeah, he's kind of a nut job, but nothing compared to the coroner. This whole town has gotten downright weird in the last few years. Cuckooville. The coroner and the sheriff are the same person. Well, there might be some resemblance around the eyes, but that's about it. The sheriff does this annoying a Reno thing, and the coroner does an annoying a who. It pretty much proves they're not the same person. How does speech prove they are not the same person? You're asking a lot of questions that probably shouldn't be asked. I'm a federal agent. That's my job. I've said too much already. I'm a federal agent. Know anything about the dead body? Not too much, just scuttlebutt from the morning breakfast crowd. And I don't want to get into trouble, especially with a crazy person like him. You're not talking about me, are you? Shut up, Dave. What's up with this town? Most of the stores are abandoned. Used to be the center of culture in the Tri-County area. Parties every night at the hotel. Celebrities visit the Edmund Mansion mansion. It was hard to not make money in those days. Of course, this was before my time. And since the pillow factory burnt down, the town is drying up faster than Dave's sex drive. Ain't that right, Dave? Don't screw with the feds. Tell us what you know. Okay, honey. But you didn't hear this from me. I'd look into that crazy clown that lives out at the old circus. He's been out there since the circus closed down years ago. Never takes his makeup off. He's got serial killer written all over him. It all happened about nine or ten years ago. Ransom the Jerk was the featured act at Stupendous Brothers Circus. He was about ready to go on stage and meet his well-earned doom. Big night tonight. Full house after my raunchiest Tonight Show appearance. I really got Johnny good, that little jackwad. It's his own fault for not being able to take a joke. I better get ready to go on stage and insult the crap out of these thimbleweed idiots. I just need to fix my hair, put on my makeup and clown nose, and find my joke book. I know that the music is probably circus themed, but I really like it. it sounds cute. Ransom the beeping clowns to beeping duelist. Put on my clown nose, get my beeping joke book back, get my clown fro looking great, apply my awesome clown makeup, go on stage and insult the hell out of those idiots. My life is amazing and beep you for being jealous. Uh... <gasps> oh my god. Fridge. Look how clean my assistant keeps it. Really? That doesn't seem to work. Oh. <laughs> Nothing. Ugh, it's weird. Why is it tilting? What the hell is this? Hmm. The number of fish swimming in Carney Joe's shooting gallery. The number of clouds in Carney Joe's shooting gallery squared. The number of kids that Carney Joe has. Weird. My circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. That's me, face. Meanest clown of 1977 and 1978. Ransom the clown. Can you sleep? No time for a nap. I have to go on stage. 
Who is this clown? It's a prototype Ransom the Clown doll. It's a perfect likeness of me. Well, maybe the nose is a bit too big. I'm not ready for my fans. My hair is all frizzy, and I'm not wearing my special Ransom Clown makeup or nose. Okay, okay. I better stick my nose on. Ouch, that's tight, but it'll have to do. Glad I only have to wear it for a couple of hours. Shall we? Ooh. <laughs> Let's go out. Ransom, I'm glad I caught you before you went on stage. Autographs are a hundred bucks. Ransom, I'm your business manager and lawyer. I don't want your autograph. Okay, 50 then. I just wanted to let you know that your mistress is waiting at your house in Aspen. And your private jet is being fueled and ready to whisk you there when the show is over. Also, we have a deal worth millions to license a line of toddler Ransom the Clown talking insult dolls. Did he get the liability clause waived? Correct. They will assume all liability when the kids grow up to be beepholes. Good. Toddlers start out as It's not my fault they end up that way. Okay, fine. 25 bucks. <laughs> I should have been a dentist. You. That's cute. Let's see. We got to... Oh, um... Why well, we don't get to doing... Let's go to the circus grounds. Well, it's kinda... Kinda freaky. Ah! Oh, that's rude. Can we exit? I don't have time to leave the circus. I have to get ready for my Fine. Act. We can... Ooh. Popcorn stand! It's fresh out of that crappy popcorn. Aww. Yeah, shoot the pussycat! Uh, let's talk to him. No, wait! Take a shot! You got my money, clowny? That's Ransom the Clown, asswipe. Okay, you got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown? 1,000 clams and you're not getting your joke book back. It eh, serves you right for playing the duckies. You, I'm out of here. Okay. We need to get some money. Okay, swear jar can we pick up money. I just take the big bucks. It's exactly 138 bucks in unmarked bills. Do we have more? Let's do our hair and stuff first. Ooh, my cloud pro looks great now. And the makeup. Now there's the face I love. Uh, where can I get more money? I can't go on stage without my joke book. Okay. I might forget my best lines without it. Hmm. Trailers. Exit. Maybe you can try here. I can't walk in through the main entrance fine, like a tuna headed pleb. Fine. I'm Ransom the Clown. Hmm. The number of fish swimming in Carney Joe's shooting okay. gallery. That doesn't seem to work. Step uh, right this way. How am I gonna get the money? Maybe he can tell me how? You got my money, Ransom the Asswipe Clown. So, uh, how's the old ball and chain and kids, huh? My wife's doing fine, no thanks to you. And so are the six kids. But they still cries themselves to sleep every night after that stare you gave them. How many kids do you say you have? I have six kids, why? Oh, uh, nothing. I need my joke book. The crowd's waiting for me. I told you before. You ain't getting it till I get the thousand bucks you owe me for the duckies. Plus, $138 in interest. Where the f am I gonna get that kind of dough? I have a show to do. 138 bucks in interest, you f loan shark. You are putting a squeeze on me. Not my problem. You, I'm out of here. Pick up. Uh. Yeah. Let's look at my circus poster featuring the amazing Ransom the Clown. Let's see if I can remember this combination. It's on the paper, right? 
eight. Okay now. Nine. And finally. Six. Top. Yeah. Top. Next time yeah. I'm setting it to one, two, three. I agree. <laughs> Let's go. We are so ready. Just give me the joke book and we can go. No, no, no. And let's go, let's go, let's go. So excited. We got prizes. I wanna give you the money. Uh no give. Give. Win a fine money. Oh, so you decided to pay up. Yep. Yeah, well, not much choice. Now where's my joke book? Yeah, the jokes all suck. So how'd you get to be so famous with jokes like these? Yeah? What do you know about being funny? Uh, about as much as you do, which is nothing. Now scram, clowny. You're scaring the customers. Okay, fine. And step. We have the joke book. It's my joke book. No spoilers here. Fine. You have to wait for my show for the jokes. Let's go. Hello, faces. I'm Ransom the insult clown. I hope no one gets their feelings hurt easily, and if you do, it's your own fault for not being able to take a joke. Hmm. Yes, yeah, snobs. Thimbleweed Park is full of snobs. You guys have a concert violinist playing in the street for ambience. You're so fancy here that the bums give money to tourists so they can buy some better clothes. Even your roaches turn their noses up at food on the floor now, like, it. we can do better. Well, that's kind of rude. Uh, yeah, what's the love? What's the deal with all these Tron machines? That's some great priorities you got there. Yeah, you can't cure cancer or help the blind see, but at least you don't have to wipe your own asses thanks to the Toilet Tron 3000! Oh, no. How about the mustache? Hey you, dude with the stupid mustache. You think you look like Magnum P.I.? A 70s porn star called. He wants his mustache back. Hey you, lady with a huge nose. I say lady, but your beak suggests you're a toucan. You shouldn't have bought tickets for the show tonight, toots. You should be saving your money for a Rhinoplasty. Oh, is the lady crying? Oh no. Oh, the mustache man is crying too. Uh, ugly shirt. Hey, you, kid with the ugly shirt. Are you colorblind? Your shirt is about to give me a seizure. I mean, oh, I'm he's crying. Clown, and even I wouldn't touch something that garish. Oh. Hey you, ugly old lady with the hairy mole. Or is it your parasitic twin? Whatever it is, I hope you bought a separate ticket. Cause if it's big enough to ride the roller coaster by itself, it's not freeloading in my audience. You will be forever sorry for what you've just said. I curse you to never be able to remove your makeup and to roam these circus grounds until the end of time. He went on for another two hours, insulting everyone he could. Some people laughed because they thought it was funny, but most laughed because they were uncomfortable, and laughing is the best way to hide from the embarrassment of others. But after the show, in his dressing room, there wasn't going to be any laughter. Ha! I killed tonight! One of my best shows ever! I hope that ugly old lady with a curse breaks a hip on the way home. Now to get this makeup off, hop on my private jet, and go see my mistress, Cindy, in Aspen. Yeah. What the? F this makeup isn't coming off. The f you, old lady. You up the? You. Come on. As much as he tried, his makeup wouldn't come off. 
That old lady wasn't just any old lady. She was Madame Morena, mistress of the dark arts. When she curses you, it's not an empty threat. Something Ransom was just now finding out. This makeup of that old my lady. Ransom, I've got some bad news. What do you want, you bald, greedy little? Can't you see I'm having a problem? Grab a tissue and some rubbing alcohol and help me, you. Your private jet crashed while trying to land. Your wife found out about your mistress, and she's taking everything you own except the house in Aspen. There was a fire in Aspen, and your house burned to the ground. The toy and doll licensing deal is dead, and they're suing you for breach. And one more thing. I quit. What? And go beep yourself. And that's why Ransom the Clown is such a creep. And you should go arrest him for murder. That's an interesting story. We'll go check up on him. Wow, that's a hell of a ride. But I don't think it's enough to say that for certain he's a murderer. So I think... Where did we go wrong, Dave? I don't know. <laughs> but if we can pull this off, I think we'll be fine again. I love you, Dave. I just want things to go back to how they were. Me too, Love Muffin. Snuggle cakes. Oh, that's so cute, but what did she mean by what she said? Okay. Go talk to Ransom the Clown. Trash can. <gasps> what? <gasps> Shit. Is she dead? Where's Reyes? I mean, Ray. Guys, it's an in what? What the hell just happened? I didn't even save. Okay, I think I think it's time to end the episode for now. And in the next episode, we'll try our best to find out what happened to Asia Ray. Hopefully, she's not dead. I would feel so bad because I'm just curious over some trash cans. <laughs> so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this episode and see you in the next one. Bye!